welcome to Mouthful, the cookery and cocktail show from me, Dominic Frank. And me, Lisa Foster Dixon. And today we are going to be making, you've guessed it, a cocktail and something cookery like. So, another cocktail. Another cocktail. And the interesting thing is, I've never made this before. You've sold it to me. I'm interested. You're going to have to show me how to do it. What's it called? It's a magical colour changing cocktail. Well, we'll see about that. And then cooking wise. <laughs> We're making another cocktail. We're making a classic prawn cocktail. <laughs> oh, I was like, well, no, it's food, but it is a cocktail. <laughs> a prawn. It's called the word cocktail after it. Is. And uh, do you know what? I bloody love a prawn cocktail. I love a prawn cocktail. But you know the, the Marie Rose sauce that we're making? Yeah. We're doing a Bloody Mary Rose sauce. <gasps> I'm excited for that, but let's get stuck in with this magical cocktail. Okay, Dom. Right. What? Tell me. First and foremost, I've seen one of these babies, a measurer, so you're telling me I'm having to measure because otherwise the magic won't work. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, well, I'll do it just this once. So okay. what do I need in here? So we're going to make this for two people. Okay. So 50 mil, um, so 100 mil of vodka. 100 so mil of vodka. So two that's of them. Basically, four shots. Okay, so two of them. Here we go, going into the little... One. Oh, it's so nice. I always keep my vodka in the freezer. Really so, good tip. Sorry, did I miss your really dramatic what? Are you gonna do it again now, aren't you? Here we go. Another one. Oh, I thought you were gonna say two. I know you did. <laughs> so that's the vodka. Okay, what next? Um, we're gonna go for something very lovely, I think, a ginger liqueur. So when Dom said, oh, I've ordered this ginger liqueur, and this turned up, I thought it was olive oil. What the hell else am I going to use this ginger liqueur for? This is going to have to be the best cocktail that's ever existed um, because otherwise it's going to last me for the rest of my life. You could cook some rhubarb with that and it'd be so delicious. I'm absolutely not doing that. I'm not doing it. What else? Anything else? Come on. <laughs> think, think, think. Yes, like a ginger steamed ginger pudding. Well, again, also absolutely not doing that. How much of this do we need? Half the equivalent, so just, yeah. One 50 ml amount. Oh, let's <laughs> the vodka down my... Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one. This is the heaviest bottle I'm ever. Sorry. Could you if I work it out? Right. One. <laughs> one of them. Okay. Let's not do that again. No. All right. <laughs> and then what? Um, and then half again of the regular syrup. So twenty-five. Yeah. Okay, fine. You're confusing me. So not what we've just done. The twenty. Luckily yeah. for you, it's all going to be written below. <laughs> yeah. So it was like there was double, half, and half again. Okay, fine. This is actually. Funkin' Pro, cocktail syrup, sugar cane. Usually we make our own, which you absolutely can do with hot water and sugar, but we found this in the cupboard, didn't even realise we had it. So, yeah, we, uh, the other side. Oh, just testing. Oh! <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't. Okay. Maybe so, not all the way to the top there, because it's quite sweet. Okay, so that Gorgeous. in there. Now what? Right. Now we add the magic ingredient, which is... <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know, you're super excited. But it is butterfly pea powder. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is looking like I am. What the hell is butterfly pea powder? Also, can I say on the on the top here it says N Pow? Like what? So you know um, when peas grow in the fields, they all have a little flower on them, and this is the powder. The flower is ground up into little powder. So it's not made of butterflies, luckily. Not Good, ground up butterflies. Favorite creature. Um, oh, it looks fantastic. Yeah, right. So Love. we don't need very much of this. Okay. I would say a teaspoon at the most. Oh my god, we're trusting me with this. So a teaspoon of the like this? Okay, put that in there. Then what? Perfect. Then we're gonna shake, shake. Okay, so... So this is enough for two. We're going to do some more. Here we go. So you can see it's like a kind of lilac -y colour. So we're going to put this into two glasses. Right. Oh my god, it's like a witch's potion. So we are, this is too much powder. that you allow me to do this and indulge me in I this. saw the just upset in your eyes. Okay, it's, so it's very blue this very time. Very blue like, this time. Like, completely different colour. Yeah, which is the colour it's supposed to be. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's supposed to be blue, not purple. Just note to self when you're making it at home. But, let's see if the magic works. Alright. Can I do that bit? Yes. Are you ready? Oh, I feel like holding my breath. I'm like, is this actually going to work this time? Okay, what colour is it supposed to go? Pink. What <laughs> kind of pinky purple? Okay, here we ready? go. Ready guys, three, two, one. Oh, oh my right. god! Right, first we make 
making. Well done. Well done, you. Look at that. Okay, let's do another one. So you could have them all lay down a row at a party and then people can add their own <gasps> magic. It's magic. It's wow, that wow. is so cool. Okay, the test now, guys, is that we need to have a mouthful of these. We do. Let's see if they actually taste any good. Okay, guys. Really good. Cheers. It smells good, doesn't it? Good. Was blown now, pinkish. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's actually really nice. Yeah, that's <laughs> the ginger's so nice, isn't it? I'm taking it back. I feel like I do need to keep this ginger. That's, I honestly didn't think that was going to be good at all. Right? Real zinc to it. Again, I've just doubted you <laughs> this whole time, Dom. But partly it was, it was justified. Um, but and it's now, made out of crushed butterflies. It's <laughs> definitely not. Right, let <laughs> torn space. <laughs> Let's move on to the prawn cocktail. Sorry, that's very delicious. It is, it is. Right, what are we doing for this? I don't think I've ever made a homemade prawn prawn cocktail. Prawn cocktail. Um, we are going to make, yeah, it's kind of like a classic prawn cocktail. It's very retro, so it's very 80s. Retro, so it's like waitro. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is though, right? And I think that to go with that cocktail, perfect, because that's definitely something my granddad would have loved, like in like maybe the 90s. He'd be like, all right, everyone, I've got a little trick for you. Here I am. Although I think he would have got it right first time knowing it. He would have practiced Sorry, for awkward. weeks, for weeks. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make the Merry Rose sauce. Okay. And um, we are going to add our little twist to it, Ooh. which is making it into a Bloody Merry Rose sauce, a little bit of vodka. Okay. Now, it's a really, really simple sauce to make. You need... Mayo. mayo. Do you know the first time that I realised how you made this sauce? Oh. Oh, I think it's a brand new one. The first time I realised how you made this sauce, I was like, oh my God, no way is it the ingredients that it is. Yeah. Right, the first thing we need is mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, here we go. Those attractive sound effects again. Wow, that's loads. How much is that? Four tablespoons. Okay, fine. To one... Oh my God, it actually looks so pretty. It's like a work of art. Look at that. It's like a wedding cake. Isn't it? <laughs> I'm <I'm> disappointed you <laughs> see it. That was a wedding cake. And then um, four to one. Okay, with ketchup. I can't believe that. The first time I realised how you made this sauce, I was like, kind of blown away. I was like, really? Really? Also, right, how long has this been made for? And how long has mayo and ketchup been at? Oh, okay, Heinz was established in 1869. So. I think it was like, yeah, like, um, since time began. Okay, it good. was like dinosaurs, Murray sauce. Yeah, that us. was it. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you putting in there? A little bit of cayenne pepper. So th that's like kind of a spicy pepper? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's literally made of ground peppers. Right, red peppers? Yeah. Oh, okay. Love a bit of that. Oh, it looks lovely. Yep. And then the special magic ingredient. The body, bit of body. Yeah, and I'm not going to trust you to this because you will just make it a drunk Mary Rose <laughs> sauce. And it'll be like, do you remember the Ma Mary Rose ship that sunk? That's going to be like... <laughs> That'll be us. <laughs> so, okay, just a little splash. Perfect. Yeah. And then mix it up. That's it. I mean, wow. honestly, how easy is How gorgeous is that? Can I taste a bit? Of course you can. That's so good. Actually, that tastes like <laughs> exactly my childhood. I don't. That is weird. That tastes like a really expensive prawn cocktail sauce as well. Right. And the next thing we're going to do before we cook the prawns, because we kind of want the prawns to be the last thing to go on, we're going to build the cocktail. Okay. Question though, right? Because whenever I get a prawn cocktail, the prawns are cold. So should the prawns be cooked first to cool down? I'm just asking it as a question because, or do you prefer warm prawns? Do you know what I mean? I think that's an interesting question. I mean, I don't think it really matters. How would you like to do it? I'll do whatever you want to do. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and if we do it hot, I'll be like, I oh, don't know, I thought they'd be better cold. <laughs> no, it won't. Okay, so, was it making a salad base? Yes. Right. So we are literally just going to make a kind of lettuce salsa, if that okay. makes sense. We're not just using crunchy lettuce, we're going to use all different kinds of lettuce. So I've actually prepped some lovely, this is going to go in the base. Mm -hmm. This is very prawn cocktail esque, like a baby yes. gem Absolutely. lettuce, shredded. It's gorgeous. Then, because we're fancy, a little bit of watercress. I Ooh. absolutely adore watercress because it's got a real peppery vibe. And why are you tearing, not cutting? I don't have an answer for you. <laughs> I just wonder, I didn't know. Because you know, sometimes there's a, re a reason, like yeah. it brings out the flavour yeah, or does. whatever. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, but I just like a tear. Why not? Yeah. And then we're going to chop up some 
um, tomatoes, really okay. small. Okay, so mixing it all together yeah. now. Chuck that one in there. And obviously, if, depending on how you want to be, you could put it into individual just glasses. Yeah, like martini glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. I actually, we love a sharing love a situation, sharing situation don't, don't we? Yeah. Do. Prawns? Prawns. Okay, so we're going to move over to the oven and grill some prawns. Yeah. Nicely. Good boys. <laughs> So sweet. Oh my god, it smells so good in oh. here. <laughs> and it's so simple, literally just olive oil, garlic powder, gorgeous. And then a little bit of butter at the end, so beautiful. Right, we're going to start with just layering a little bit of the Marie Rose sauce. Okay, so you want me just to drizzle? Yeah. Right, okay. Oh, oh my Whoa. god. Whoa. I'll really take it. I'm like a bit, being very dramatic with this, aren't yeah, I? I'm loving it though. <laughs> Right, and then we're going to go in with the prawns. Oh my lord, <gasps> look at these. Ooh, they look How incredible. Wonderful. Look at the juice. I think keeping them warm is fun. I actually agree. Yeah. I think it's going to be really special. Because you'd have them warm in a, like a taco wrap with salad. Yeah, and completely. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to be super generous yeah. with these. I'll keep a couple back for a bit of garnish at the end. <laughs> super generous. <laughs> <laughs> right, now loads Love of that. sauce all okay. over the top of that. Wow. Oh, look at that. Now what? Now do we mix it together? I'm just going to do a little bit of a... <laughs> That's tradition, isn't it? Do you put those on a cocktail glass as well sometimes? Yeah. yeah. Prop, this is the prawn <laughs> ring situation. <laughs> oh, I should not put... Oh, shit, I'm not very good at it. And then the last thing you do it's just a little sprinkling of cayenne pepper on top. Wow, that looks like, it's like a bit dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Wow, look at that. There you go. I'm sorry, but if I got served that at a dinner party, I'd be like... Well, just for you, that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like a giant's prawn cocktail, right? Yeah, no, that looks incredible. Okay, let's have a mouthful. <laughs> Okay, guys, here's a four. I am so excited about this. I'm just going to do a fabulous squeeze of lime Always. all over it. Oh, it is like a cocktail, isn't it? It really is, actually. Okay, let's have a mouthful. Oh, God, get right into the bottom. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, that is amazing. And guys, don't be afraid to serve it like this in the middle of your table and just give all your guests balls. Let everyone experience it in the same way. I think that's so yeah, nice. It's so, so good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and you can taste it kind of like that vodka kick. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Mm. Dirt bone. Thank you, as always, for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends, and share with us when you make our delicious, oh, sorry, recipes. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.